Hi everyone, welcome back to Gear Z, the Sim Racing Podcast. Today we have Hot Lap Racing with us. I'm joining by Pierre, Luke, and Jonathan from the team. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so to to start it, how start the creation of Hot Lap Racing? Oh, uh, what a story. Uh, <laughs> uh, in fact, um, so Jonathan and, and, and me, we, we were not working uh, together. Uh, we are not from the same company. And uh, one day, Jonathan came to me with a... So, the real story, Jonathan came to me with a prototype game he made. And uh, he, he asked me if uh, I knew some publishers that would like to... Um, just would like to, to, to publish a, a racing game. He had only a prototype at this moment. Uh, so I took the prototype with me. I began to, to go to see some partners. I had some habits to work with. And uh, as I was presenting the game, I, I saw kind of interest, in fact, uh, from, uh, the, from potential partners, from publishers, from distribution partners. And I was like, is there something to do with uh, this prototype? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe if I, I take my team and I, I begin to add a few content, um, we can have a bigger game first, and then maybe we can have something that could be more interesting into for the players because Jonathan was working alone on this prototype. So everything was here, uh, I should say, and everything was really interesting. In fact, in terms of uh, physics, driving, and everything, um, but it definitely had some pot more pot some potential, at least far more potential. So, I, I don't know if you have a different story, Jonathan, but <laughs> that's all I see. <laughs> no, 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 that's well uh, summed up. Uh, no, nothing to to add. <laughs> no, no, yes, <laughs> and so and and so we, we I began to pitch the game. I saw some interest from the publishers. They were like, "Okay, I, I like it and everything," but um, it was very, it was interesting, but quite rough. Um, it was like a time attack game only. Okay. Um, but but the graphics were quite good. Uh, the physics were was here. It was interesting. The gameplay was was definitely uh, there was something definitely different from all the games on the market uh, in terms of of gameplay. So I was like, okay, I began to pitch, but as I pitched, I, I just not pitched the Jonathan game. I was like, okay, uh, that's Jonathan game, but we will add this, these cars, uh, maybe tracks, um, different art direction, maybe um, more content. I began to pitch more content, and then I had some interest from publishers. So that's how it began. Um, so I, I I took my team. I said, "Hey, we're working on a totally different game at the moment." I I said, "Hey, there's something interesting to do here." Um, so began to put some developers, some artists on, on this game, and uh, with Jonathan together, we we began, in fact, to work on the same game, and that's that's a uh, whole. We began to work on what became later Hot Lap Racing. Good, good. And um, so, according with the Twitter, you guys are going to release the game in the Switch version, in on the PC version. But before yeah. with the podcast we start talking, you uh, put the key on the Switch version. Do you want to elaborate why first the Switch version and after it will come the PC? Uh, yes. Um, no, in fact, we had Switch in mind um, uh, since the very beginning uh, of the development of this game for, for many reasons. Um, you know, um, the first reason is, um, you know, we we are from a generation of uh, of people who, you know, uh, who who miss good old simcade games, uh, but who don't have time to play uh, the the yeah. sim ra the sim racing games, the big ones, the big names, because time to, to, to you know to set up a wheel, time to set up a car and everything, it takes time. So yes, and but we still we are still interested into uh into motorsport games. So on Switch it's good because um when you have Switch in mind you can think about you know short sessions uh mm -hmm. for people who 
who had uh, you know in mind the feeling of the of the games of the i would say the mid the mid 90s the beginning of the uh two 2000 years um and you can have short sessions of of gameplay for people who don't because we we grew up we have uh, we have work we have uh, you know families and everything so it's important to have this kind of racing games uh, which are interesting for for people who don't have time to play sim racing games but we, we, we which still have you know the motorsport feeling that's what is important um and yes this is, the second reason will be uh go we wanted to go on console but going on the playstation and the xbox we we are a studio which is working on playstation and xbox games also but we know that the competition is fierce first on the racing genre and it doesn't suit it well, the game we we had in mind um like going against uh, Gran Turismo or Forza is, is like, you know, uh, very difficult <laughs> for a totally new IP first. Uh, that, that's a reason, to be honest, uh, because they will have budget la- that are maybe something like 35 times, maybe 40 or 45 times <laughs> the budget we have for yeah. top racing. So going against these big guys and compete against them was like impossible. But on Switch, it, ma- it made sense. Um, we know the consoles. We know that there was something interesting to do with it, um, and we are pretty sure there are people who are playing Switch and still interesting into this kind of motorsport games. That the point. So yes, we had Switch on, on mind at very early in development, and that's why we. It's our main version, I will okay. say, of the game. Yeah, because let me only add it. I think uh, according with the numbers, because sometimes it's like numbers, the Switch is one of the most sold consoles. So the numbers that Switch can do is quite quite important. Yeah. Well, the point is the Switch is selling well. I'm not sure that that's the console with the most motorsports enthusiast. No, I don't. I, I, no, because they tend to be, as you know, the <laughs> Pokemons or this type of uh, games that no, or no. Mario. But still, uh, I think... But, the but there's still of, people who are enjoying, yeah. enjoying racing games on the Switch. That's the point. And, um, um, and yes, we prefer to be very competitive on, on, on the Switch and, and to have a very fine-tuned game with, you know, to be on the top of the graphics on the Switch than uh, going on on budgets we against games which have budget we, we, we can't match. And, okay. um, and that's the reason, to be honest. But yes, it's, um, you know, there's a lot of problems with the Switch, all the problems we have to think about. Uh, that's all that's the point. Um, and and it is, that's an interesting point, in fact. Uh, you know, uh, on the Switch, okay, you, for motorsport games could be a problem that you don't have, you know, analog, analogic triggers, for example, on mm-hmm. the console. Even if Jonathan uh, found a way to... To, to, to keep things interesting um, about this and uh, find, he, he found a solution which is very, you know, very nice about it. Uh, but yes, uh, the point is with, with the Switch, it's a different way to develop. So having this on mind at the very first, uh, from the very first month of development was, was great for us. Uh, so we... We can use all the all the capabilities of the console. That's the point. Yeah, and if uh, like we speak before, if you start building the game in Switch, after you can portable to the PC or to the consoles yes. in an easy way, that after will not happen. We, when you do the contrary, and you see a lot of titles after more racing titles, they need the frame rate, the correct frame rate, drop and having a lot of issues. But will exactly. be very will be a lot of uh, difference from the Switch version to the PC version, or they will be. A con- a compatible? Uh, no, basically it will be the same game. Uh, I will say that yes, the PC version will ha- will have uh, better graphic options. I will say, mm-hmm. um, but in term in terms of content, it will be the same game basically. Okay. Uh, it, Switch version is not a downgraded version, you know, 
of an of a, of the PC one. Yeah, because uh, normally they tend to be. That's that's why. Uh, yes. No, no, no. Uh, it's a real it's a real motorsport games on Switch. Okay. It's uh, really using all the, the capabilities of the console, um, and it has the same features as uh, as a PC version, definitely. Okay. Uh, just yes, for sure the PC version. Um, will have more graphic options. Yes, on the PC, you can also have your own gamepad, which maybe have analogic triggers and everything. So the, the, the controls might feel a bit different. Okay. Um, but not feeling different, in fact. It's not the, um, the good way to, to, to say it. it. But at least, you know, it's it's more easy, you know, to customize, um, uh, to customize the controls. On PC, yeah, inputs, just because yeah. yeah, the inputs because you you can play if you want with a keyboard with your own uh, gamepad or, or whatever you know. So it's easier you know just to to, to set the sensitivity and um, these kind of things. But so yes, it it will it will it will be a bit different on this point. But basically, no, it's it, it's the same game, same okay. features, everything. And we will have um, accessibility for wheelie, wheels, or will be just for gamepads. That's quite important for, or on the moment, only gamepads. <laughs> uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very very good question. Um, let's say let's say just that the game is just not finished. So uh, at the moment, yes, it's uh, it's gamepad, uh, but uh, we will see for for steering wheel for sure. Uh, I can't promise. Uh, on this, uh, I, I can't make any false promise. Uh, we will see. We will try. Uh, just, um, just, I, uh, yes. It's not hundred percent sure at the moment. It's yeah, it makes something don't, that don't worry PC. so much with that because I think the, the what you're doing with the game is more accessibility. And like yes, you say, it's uh, for, and more than uh, it, it can come later. Come later, you know. Exactly. Also. Uh, on PC, that's something we have to to to, to look at. Um, but yes, it's um, it's it's always difficult, you know, because yes, we 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 put a lot of efforts for the okay. game to be to to be played like easily on gamepad, like having real physics and everything, uh, but to be accessible to everyone. That's the point of of, of the game, like uh, having you know the gameplay on the which is very you know fine tuned for the for the gamepad is something like we really wanted um uh it it was our intention from the very first day um so yes it took us a lot of time uh so we might see later for for steering wheels uh but for the release of the game it's not something uh, sure at the moment Okay, and let's start talking about now the game in terms of track varieties of cars. What you guys can already tell a little bit more than what is on to, uh, Twitter or uh, or on internet. <laughs> yes, it would be more, but maybe Jonathan can uh, talk about about this. Uh... <laughs> the, the the tracks. Uh... Because you have Jerama circuit already here on the yes. on the Twitter. Uh... Yes. Um, the the point is, yes, we 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 have we have, in fact, many tracks in the game for sure. Basically, there will be, um, like I would say, uh, real famous tracks. When I say famous, it's more the famous. It depends where 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 you come from and yeah, <laughs> what, exactly. what kind of games you are usually playing. Uh, but yes, there will be. Uh, that famous tracks you see, you, you have seen Jarama. There will be some others that will be uh, that will be un how to say this. Some other tracks will be also uh, shown on, on the next weeks, um, and we also have tracks uh, that you know you are un unusual. In fact, in the game, okay. real tracks you don't see that much. In in, uh, in most racing games, um, the point is uh, when we were searching for for tracks in the game. Yes, sure, we we search began our to to search for famous tracks, and then um, 
we had also like opportunities to, to 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 work with smaller tracks, more local tracks, um, or national tracks, you know, mm -hmm. uh, which are not always used for like big uh, big competitions, but also for more local competitions and everything, and which sometimes were like interesting uh, at this fitting were fitting the game very well. So yes, there will be also like kind of unusual tracks that I do not find in other. Uh, racing games, or at least in, uh, I would say, uh, in in games, uh, in Vanilla games, because no, you know, with modding, you can find nearly all the tracks yeah, in the exactly, world you. in some games. <laughs> uh, so I'm, 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 I can't say that it'll be, be like, uh, you know, tracks you, you haven't seen every, everywhere because it's just, you know, the modding community on, on so many games makes it like, okay, sometimes you, you, you can see so many tracks, different tracks, even tracks you 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 were not aware about. Um, yeah, that's the competitive. But yes, there, there will be like unusual tracks, like more more smaller tracks, but that we have found interesting uh, for okay. the game. Um, yes, and also yes, we we added few fan fantasy tracks also, uh, which are in fact. Uh, sometimes just there are there are very few of them. It's in fact like kind of mixing existing tracks to to new ones. Um, for for a very good reason, it's because sometimes you know we just wanted to have something a bit different to offer okay. to the players, uh, like kind of fun experience. So yes, that's. Uh, Yes, so basically, there's three kind of tracks in the game. That's okay. that's the point. Uh, no, no, if Jonathan want to add something about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Uh, and in terms of the cars, I saw that you guys have the F4. Are you are putting a lot of uh, effort on the and the F4s? I uh, remember that was a couple of tweets that people was uh, mistaking the F4s for. Uh, the IndyCar, the Lara yeah. <laughs> chassis. I remember and you guys straight away come and explain that it was F4. <laughs> you see that you have the Lamera Cup cars. Any yes. more cars that you guys are planned to add yes. to the games? Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we will have for 40, more than 40 different cars. Okay. And I, when I say more than 40, it uh, yes, it will be more than this. Um, yes, we have, we have official cars like... Uh, you have seen so the Formula Four, Formula Three cars from Miguel. Uh, yes, we have Lamera Cup. We will have different single seaters. In fact, not only the Formula Four and Formula Three, but more than this. Um, if you look at the, the very first trailer of the game, uh, you can see uh, it's like for just an instant, like less than a second. But you can see that there are some others. People, people just haven't really saw this uh so it's okay it's, uh, because we didn't announce it officially but it's on it's in the trailer mm -hmm. um it, but yes we will have uh more single seaters cars um i would say more powerful um there will hey, be endurance, I see endurance some racing type yeah, exactly i was to say i see some endurance yes. racing on your first uh tweets uh i would say around yeah. september so exactly yes endurance racing so uh and and many gt cars also uh and when i say gt it's uh gt and touring cars okay also um i guess we will uh, we will make uh, we will show this uh these cars uh, very soon um what is interesting is that definitely sometimes sometimes i, I said unusual tracks uh, before but there will be also some unusual uh cars also in the game like cars uh, from the uh, from the 60s uh from the 80s uh, different eras of motorsport um and and it's it was also something important um i know that jonathan had uh, a vision about about this to have like different eras of motorsports in the game okay. going from the 60s to cars that uh, hadn't even it's a track uh, at the moment, but maybe in uh, two or three years, that will be in the game. Uh, we we even we will even have some uh, some electric cars in the game, okay. electric racing. Um, so yes, it was important to have you know like the the variety of gameplay 
uh, it's something that we really wanted also. Uh, not just you know having uh, only. I know I, I know a lot of it, it's okay. A lot of games are doing things, but just you know just having just GT cars and that's all. You know. Like yeah, we are a, living. Uh, I think we are living now in the on the era that everyone is crazy about uh, GT yeah. cars. But yeah. I I'm a fan of touring cars, <laughs> as probably you can see oh, on the side. I'm a big fan of uh, of touring cars. Now that, that you have games right now, you know they just have like 20 cars, but all GT cars, uh, yeah. all the same and everything. It just like uh, it, it's nice. It's okay, but uh, that's not what we wanted for for this game. Uh, definitely uh, having variety was I guess more fun um, as I said we, we want people to have fun that's the point uh, and okay. to find something that suits um, their you know their taste in terms of, of gameplay uh, so if you want just to have a short session of because you don't have that much time to play and you you want to try something it's okay you can try a new car a new, new way to, to drive um, just play during 20 minutes with touring cars, with endurance, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, and try always try something new. Uh, I think it's more it's more interesting in our case uh, from for a game that we want to be accessible. Yeah, because um, I want to ask you if uh, the cars will be customized, if you're gonna have to, ch if you're gonna be able to change the setup, if you can upgrade the cars in in themselves, or they're gonna be just a car from factory and you just tweak a little bit the setup. Uh, no, there's no first no customizations on, on the cars. Uh, and when I say no customization, like you can upgrade the cars or, or whatsoever, uh, it was it wasn't what we wanted. Okay. And also no, as a, no no particular setup on the car. Um, it's it's a game you can play on the go. You know, it's real motorsport sensations, like with realistic physics and everything. But um, also you. You must be able just to to take the game to launch to launch a race to have fun, and it's okay, you know. Okay. Uh, so no particular settings. Um, right. That's okay. That's, <laughs> and in terms of uh, the gaming himself, you guys gonna have like a career mode? Is there any idea behind that, or is it just gonna be like you like hot lap racing? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's a career mode uh, in okay. the game. Um, yeah, it's basically. It, it's uh the current mode is uh is like very it might seem very classic but basically you you are a young driver uh just trying to you know to ramp up the the different layers of uh, motorsports um coming from uh, formula 4 uh and going to the top level uh you have the choice to 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 go through different paths endurance okay. gt single seaters uh, basically, sometimes you can change. Also, okay. uh, you can you can change uh, during your journey into the, the career mode. You can change your way, but um, yeah, yes, is, there will be a, a career mode. We we also there, there will be real drivers uh, in in the game. Like you can you know you are as your opponents in the game. Uh, you will have some opponents that are tougher than others. Okay. Uh, which are real drivers uh, on, on the real series, um, and that's a way. Also, we, that's a good way, I think, to also to discover maybe new drivers, new cars, uh, new environments. Sometimes, you know, uh, just maybe you you have something in mind that when you begin the career mode, like okay, I will I want to go on single seaters and be a, a champion going to Formula Four, Formula Three, and everything, and maybe change your mind and discover a new. Uh, new series, so new drivers, new tracks, mm -hmm. and everything. Um, that's some, that's something that I think is working well on these kind of games. That's, that's that's beautiful. I think is what's missing sometimes in in games. We need we need a, a more a single career mode than because now when it comes to racing, you always focus on the online. That we will talk a little bit. But before we move to the online, I want to ask you about. Uh, the inputs and the physics around the game, how we will be, how that's going to work, and how long it takes to develop that. It's going to be Jonathan. <laughs> well, Jonathan maybe will be better uh, to answer this. Uh, the, the type of physics you want to know that we will yes, have? Yes, yes. Yep. 
uh, it, it will be uh, something uh, really accessible, uh, like um, like uh, something comparable to the old uh, Toka and Grid series. Something okay. Three, be between arcade and uh, and simulation. If if do a little bit of simulation is already uh, uh, a sim game, so we need to sometimes sim forget. Game, yes. We need to forget that uh, I think all the games, if they simulate something that is real, is a sim is a sim is a simulation. So I think when it come to sim racing, sometimes we forgot uh, so much that uh, when it's not hardcore sim racing is arcade. But I think I think not. I think if simulate a little bit of give us some sense of r real experience, you have to be a, a simulator. So I will put your game as a sim, simcade, or a, as they call it. Absolutely, simcade, oh. this yeah. is the, the term. Exactly, yes, we have a realistic, we have, in fact, the, the physics uh, of the cars are quite realistic. It, you know, the cars are not uh, doing jumps or, or whatever, you know, it's quite, <laughs> It's clear. It has some like you know, um, if you see the the cars running, you 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 just or just playing with the cars, you can see that okay, it's uh, it looks like you know a real car on on the track. Uh, then you know we 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 kept like you know appropriate performances of the cars um, and everything. Just you know, it's it's not fantasy at all, but. The point, the difficulty was, yes, having this realistic physics and keeping driving fun. Um, I know that the trend is more around simulations since uh, the, the last few years, but um, the point is, uh, yes, as I, I said, Jonathan, yes, we, are, we have in mind the race driver series, the grid series, the Toka games, uh, maybe a bit of need for speed shift also. Uh, on, on, on my side, uh, but you know, having having this feeling that I can drive a very powerful car on a track, um, it it feels like I'm a racing driver in the end, mm -hmm. even if okay, the controls are, are, are easier than the simulation game. Um, that's kind of sensations we want you to provide. Okay, but you see, uh, for example, like I'm gonna. Repeat again the same video because it's the video that are on, online. If you go to the Jarama video that you guys have with the the Lamura Cup, the the car behave is feels really a, a sim racing uh, level. So I think it's even higher that the comparing that you guys are doing with Grid that mm. the evolution in fortune of Grid didn't win so well on the last titles, but uh, the way that the car behaving and the way that you see. And if this is a footage for the Switch version, they are they are really really good. I think you guys are nailing on that part, and uh, it's beautiful. But that's asking okay. about on online. So you're gonna have a multiplayer online fixtures because these days is quite what people ask. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. We. It, it's uh, it's something. Yes. Uh, that will be in the game. Uh, there will be online, mm -hmm. but also m local multiplayer, and then okay. for all platforms. Uh, it's important. Also, to... so cross going to be cross between the platforms? Uh, no, no cross. Um, okay. No cross platform, but uh, yes, online. And when I say local, it's more about you know having four players split screen. In fact, mm. uh, which is something like maybe common on some consoles like the Switch, uh, and not on all consoles. In fact, um, uh, but yes, having four pe four people playing the game. At the same time, a new TV is something that was, I guess, not I guess, but I'm sure pretty important for the Nintendo Switch. But also, it will be on PC too. That's the point. Okay. Um, it's I, I know it's not common. It's not. It's quite unusual. But, uh, it, but unusual these days because for, yes, from, from days. when we came was the way that we we play. You know, I, yeah, exactly. But the... but uh, why not? I, I guess you know if you want to have like if you are the if you have a party or whatever with friends, you have a PC and everything, why not going to play four players on the same same screen, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, maybe one player will be with a keyboard, another one with a gamepad or whatever, but just, you know, just have to adjust um, the, the, the the help, you know, mm -hmm. the way you, you help the player. Um, 
just why not? Uh, it's it's. I don't know that much games, racing <laughs> games right now, uh, having four players uh, split screen on PC. I think uh, just, uh, just Mario if we yeah, consider but, Mario Kart as a as a racing game, yeah, but but it's not on PC. Even on PC, this kind of you know, no, on, for, PC, for the last no. ten years, you you didn't had uh, this no. kind of uh, of options, and uh, and I guess that's something uh, that was something nice to add, also. Uh, but yes, for sure, on, on the Switch, uh, yes, we have the online, but also yes, uh, the split screen. Uh, which is mandatory on Switch. You know, the Switch it is a kind of console you 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 bring with you at a party or whatever to play with your friends. Um, yeah. If you can play Mario Kart, why not playing something a bit more serious uh, yeah, with friends? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, and the point is, as we said, you don't need to need to be an expert in sim racing to to play the game. So, so the point is, um, I'm pretty sure people will have fun. Uh, you know, playing hot lap racing, uh, even if they are just beginners, but they will have fun playing with their friends. You know, uh, just uh, racing around the track and uh, with different cars and uh, and having this kind of uh, of uh, you know motorsport sensation. Like, okay, mm -hmm. I can yes, I can manage a, a 500 horsepower car around a <laughs> difficult track uh, and feeling like a racing driver. I, I guess it could it could give some very fun. Uh, multiplayer, local multiplayer sessions. Uh, now that you, I forgot to this part because we mentioned the inputs uh, on Nintendo Switch. Normally, you you tend to have uh, you can play with the buttons, but in some games you have the inputs of the movement of the Switch console. You're gonna have that one in the in the game. Uh, good question. Uh... Uh, do you know Jonathan? If you have this, mm, not really. No, not really. I, I don't think. I think it, it, it's something that we have might considered. Okay. I think, uh, but uh, right right now, I'm sure it's not in the game at the moment. I'm pretty sure, uh, but uh, that's something we have we might have considered. But I, I don't think it will make the, the final cut. Okay. In the, in, in the game. To be uh, fair, I, I don't know if someone used it or not. Uh, and... I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm. You know. I'm not sure on even if it's simcade and you have the cade of arcade. I'm not sure in our game that it will suit well because okay. you know just of the precision um, uh, you you can have to have the motion the, the, the motion uh, controls. Okay. Um, uh, that yes. At least we, for you know, I said that we we the problem on switch was the analog, analog triggers. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we don't have at, at least for this. If you want, you can set up you know the the how to say you know the right the, the you know the the stick on the right you know to have kind of analog yeah. uh, throttle or brake. Uh, so that's okay if you want more precision. Uh, but yes, motion control don't offer most of the time um, precision that is uh, requested for this kind of game. So that's uh, that's not something that will make the cut, I think. Nah, it's, it's, it's not. It was just a question because I have to remember now because <laughs> we mentioned Mario Kart and everything. You no, know, I, I go to the memories. The last times I've been playing, and I know some people sometimes they like to instead of using the buttons, they like to use the arms as a maneuver. But like you say, sometimes the input tend to be too much, and after you know they the car will not behave the same way that should be. But let me just to finish, uh, what you're going to expect now in the next months of the game, and if you have a data for when the game will be released. Uh... What we expect is very simple. Just we are, you know, we are we are on at the end of the production of the game. In okay. fact, we are not in the end, but we are we are in the last month. Um, so, uh, so yes, for the very last month, we have to to add uh, the last cars, the last tracks. Um, we have to set a lot of things, uh, and I don't know if I can give. Uh, the, the launch date of the game, 
mm -hmm. uh, exact launch, da game, launch date, but you can expect the game to be released uh, for mid-2024, I would say. Okay, that's, that's, uh, that's good. Because these days, let me honestly say, these days people think all the games need to be delivered now. But after the games came with uh, problems, and after we have to wait for updates, and uh, I think it's important uh, that we change a little bit that. And uh, if we wait a little bit more for the game, at least the game came 100% playable and uh, the project no, that no, was expected. No, no, we, we, we want the game to be finished when it will be uh, on, on, on in stores. That's a point. Yeah, exactly. uh, we don't want to to have an unfinished game. Uh, I know that it's very common now to you know just to you sell your game, it's not finished, or you have a lot of uh, uh, of things to download uh, later to have your, your game, 100% of the game mm -hmm. uh, content. Uh, but in our case, um, we, will, we will try, I say at least, at least we will try, but I'm pretty sure that we will, uh, we will succeed in having the whole game finished on time. Um, and yes, once you once you buy it, you have all the content. That's the point. That's perfect. And DLCs, just to finish, we're gonna have expecting DLCs on the future. You don't know. Um, let's say that we are discussing this. Um, okay. It will it will depend a lot also of the of the success of the game for sure. Okay. Uh, no point to 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 continue to have uh, DLCs if uh, if uh, the, the the sales are below expectations. But okay. But yes, we in fact we have in mind um, what what we can add after the release of the game. Um, we have this in mind. We we want to have DLCs, uh, like we have some content we will, we would like to add later, uh, which is very different, or at least very different, or at least different from what we what will be in the retail version of the game, but. But yes, uh, that's discussions at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, that's that's normal. But from my part, I think the game brings some excitement, as you say, for the accessibility and for the inputs. And uh, you know, from a person that sometimes I need to spend uh, time outside of the house due to sickness or due to whatever you have to do, I think it's important we have something that brings us some joy and some more close to motorsport. And uh, you are breaking a little bit the barrier between the arcade and the sim, sim racing in terms of the switch. So that's really, really important. And for my part is everything, guys. I think you give us something really unique. And I really hope see it in the future, you know, in the next six, seven months on the stores. And uh, I think it's going to be really, really good. Uh, we will try. <laughs> we will try our <laughs> best. We will give everything we have here. Nice. Thank really you very good. much.